Now, AI video also has trouble with distinct boundaries. As you can see also in psychedelic experiences, people often experience you know, morphing into themselves when they are older or into animals. They both struggle with distinct boundaries, creating this morphing effect. AI video has a great time with unpredictable motion, things like flames and water, and struggles with predictable things like fingers. Similarly, on psychedelics, hard to do predictable things like math, easy to do unpredictable things like Burning Man. All right, time distribution. So AI is trained on all historical data simultaneously, flattening the arrow of time into a single point, allowing for false memories like this one. Similarly, on psychedelics, you might have time distortion as well. Seems to slow down. Finally, my favorite, while you're in a psychedelic state, you might experience ego dissolution. This is very similar to how AI video struggles with the same reference character. Both struggle with coherent identities. Now, finally, why does this matter? Well, when I streamed all of these trips to people in the audience, they cried. I cried faking them. It was cathartic. This could be very useful for psychedelic integration to understand AI better, to empathize with it, and perhaps to understand the psychedelic state better. But ultimately, it demands introspection, both AI and psychedelics, and we have to fundamentally embrace the fact that we may not know ultimately how either works, so I've saved my last 15 seconds for one profound thought and also an AI dance break. So. There's literally no point to this slide, just wanted to dance. Thank you, everybody.